All right, what's goody, my brothers and sisters? So I'm coming to you today to say something that, you know, it's been said a million times before. You've probably heard it plenty of times. And that is that peace comes from within. The kingdom of heaven is within. You know, there's a lot of different ways to say it, and there's a lot of different people that have said it in different times. But it's some kind of truth that needs to be reiterated to us for some reason um, over and over and over again. <clears throat> and it has to be said over and over and over again because for some reason, for some damn reason, the mind wants to cling to things that it thinks will bring it peace, will bring it liberation, to some kind of happiness, some may say. Whether it's a person, a thing, a song, a food, a podcast, a piece of clothing, whatever it is, man, the mind always just wants to maybe this, maybe that, maybe her, maybe him, maybe these, maybe those, maybe this, maybe. And then you get it, right? You're like, oh, but there's still something. There's still some kind of void the mind wants to fill. It's just continually filling voids of materialism and stuff in the material world. Maybe this, maybe that. It's never going to be able to fully fill the void, man. The way we fully fill the void of peace within ourselves is to truly go into the void of ourselves. We are the ones that have to take the journey into our own mind and figure out what we really are. We all know this. We know this. Especially if you've been, you know, following me along this journey and other people that are on this journey. We all know this, right? Why do you think monks spend so much time meditating? They don't just want to put on the robes and look cool. No, they're going within, man. It's a life dedicated to meditation. Meditation is so important. Just the simple fact of just disconnecting from this technology, the world, the drama of our <clears throat> material lives, and connecting with our true essence within. That's what it's all about, man. It's really, it really seems too good to be true. That that's how we get peace. It seems so simple, right? It's like, no, it can't be that easy. It can't just be as easy as you know, maybe following the breath for a few minutes a day and in a few minutes leads to a few more minutes and then a few more minutes leads to a few hours, whatever it is, man. You know, the, the, whole, the whole process, the whole journey of it is really simple. It seems too good to be true, right? But no, nah, man, all we got to do to find peace in this life is to meditate. And there's all different kinds and... Uh, there's all different ways to meditate, but really just the act of inquiring what you are and noticing what you are, becoming aware of what you are, that isness, that beingness that goes beyond words, it goes beyond the mind grasping at this or that or those. The simple fact of awareness, of being. The pursuit of that mindset in the pursuit of that perspective is the journey to peace. And it's obviously easier said than done, right? The mind, the mind, of a, <laughs> the mind is a son of a bitch, man. It always wants more. No matter what, maybe this pizza, maybe this book, maybe this movie, maybe him, maybe her, maybe it, right? It's always this maybe game. It's like, mm, maybe this, maybe in five years, maybe in 10 years I'll be there, right? It always wants something, but that's what it is. It's a game. It's the maybe game. And you can either play the game and say, oh yes, that's, this is how the mind works. And just watch this, watch how it works, right? Watch the thoughts, become aware, witness the thoughts. 
the sensations, the feelings of the mind, the grasping. Just become the witness of this, this silly game that the mind plays, right? We can all do that. We all have the capability to do that. Because it's not like when you go on this journey of self-inquiry, oh, excuse me, when you go on this journey, it's not like you are totally negating the mind in its games, you know, <clears throat> It's like recognizing that it's still a thing, yet going with the flow, going with the dance of the mind, you know, make it a dance. <laughs> oh, my mind thought the pizza would make me happy, and now I ate the pizza. Now I'm a little full. I'm actually not too happy. I'm a little, a little too gluttonous with that pizza, you know, stuff like that. Just notice. Just watch how feeble its attempt is at saying maybe, maybe this, maybe that, maybe not, bro. Maybe what's going to bring you some kind of peace is finding out what you really are. Because maybe, just maybe, you'll come to find that what you really are is peace. It is stillness. Maybe. It's up to you to find out. And that's the thing. It's up to you. There's nobody, nothing that's going to do it for you. Not me. Not your mom. Not your dad. Not your boyfriend. Not your girlfriend. Nobody. Just you. It may seem daunting. It may seem a little scary. What, me? Oh, it's all up to me, bro? I don't have any help. But it's the most it's the most powerful thing you can do for your whole entire being is to take the reins and take control and say, Mind, I recognize you are there. I recognize how you've been shooting me in certain ways along my life in this way and that way and these things and those things and you know almost like the mind was directing me in a certain way right recognize that but you can take the reins and say you know what mind i'm taking control now oh, like in that uh the tom hanks movie right with the uh with the guy the African guy on the, on the boat. I forget the name of it. I can't think of the name. You know, the African guy on the boat. I am the captain now. <laughs> so become the captain of your own beingness, man. And that's okay, man. If you fall off the wagon. We all fall off the wagon. We're not perfect. We're not enlightened. Not yet. Just get lost in the journey of knowing thyself. It's an entire journey, man. But once you become aware that there's a little more than just the happenings of the mind going on, that's where the journey starts. And then from there, you walk the path. And uh, everyone's path is different. I can't say how it's going to be for you. I can only speak for me. And for me, it's been pretty peaceful. I've been a lot calmer, a lot happier. I feel like there's purpose to this incarnation. And there's purpose after this incarnation. Maybe you'll find that too. Remember, it's up to you and you only. So I wish you the best of luck. And, uh, yeah. You'll thank yourself. The more you go on this journey, this path, the path to awakening, the journey of enlightenment, whatever you want to call it, man, you realize that's why we're here. We're not here for those things. We're not here for cars, clothes, money, women, clout. We're not here for that. That's part of the game. That's part of the play, the show, right? We got to dance with that stuff. It's all part of it. 
But behind the scenes, when you truly get to know thyself, you realize what this story is all about. It's about you. Other than that, man, hope everybody takes the time for yourself, man. <clears throat> We're getting into some crazy times, and it's going to become more and more pivotal for you to go within and find that peace. Because if you look for it on the outside world, you're definitely not going to find it nowadays, man. <laughs> it's only getting crazier and crazier, that's for sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for listening, everybody. Um, yeah, namaste. Peace out. Much love.